Today we'll be discussing on how to connect the Xtool RA3 rotary tool to the Xtool P2S that I have. It'll also work with the P2 as well. Uh, disclaimer, I'm not associated or uh, partnered or collaborating with Xtool. All the Xtool uh, equipment that I have, I purchased on my own. With that being said, let's get started. So once you've unboxed your RA3, comes in this nice case, uh, storage case. Good job, x -Tool. Uh You want to come over here. You can connect it with the barrel, which I did. I know in your other posts on Facebook, I put I had problems with it, but I figured it out. You can also use the USB, which plugs in the back, and you can run it through the back door underneath there if you want to use the USB. So I've got mine set on the tray upside down on level four. And then once you connect that plastic piece that comes with it, it's kind of an alignment thing for them. So I have mine set here, which is perfect. And when they update the software for auto mode, this will have to be level with the top of the plastic because it aligns with this X on here or calibrates. So let's, uh, that's it for the connection part. I'm going to pause the video and get everything set up and uh, with the uh, rotary in it. Oh, wait. So once you got all that connected, I'm going to come to your computer, make sure that uh, your P2, P2S is connected. You want to go over here to these three lines, go to device settings, accessories, Calibrate. Right here you'll calibrate uh, the RE3. So it's going to go scan that X. And we've got successful calibration. And you can close that. So that's it for the calibration part. So you come over here. I gotta do this one handed. So make sure that's all squared away. I leveled this earlier. As you can see, it's Pretty level. Now what I'm going to do next is do the height measurement. So it's going to prompt you to move it to your tumbler. And this is for uh, For the 40 ounce tumblers, which are Stanley or Stanley knockoffs. So I moved the distance to 12 millimeters. And what you want to do is on the highest point on your tumbler. On normal tumblers, uh, it's going to be the ridge right here, where the red dot is. But on these Stanleys, I put it uh, 
right on the bent tab. So now so many steps to doing this. So now, make sure you got your uh, circumference done. My settings, which I have here, going to be 65, 440, and 120 on the lines per centimeter. Run preview. Looks good to me. So when you hit process, it's gonna give you estimated time. 37 minutes for me. On before, I was getting four to five hours, which is kind of odd, but uh, that'll be it for uh, as far as we're starting this up. But once again, don't forget to do your diameter. I showed you how to do the measurement, uh, and I gave you some settings to start out with. So hopefully hopefully this will help you out uh, as far as for the RA3 and the, the PS2 or PS2S but uh, leave me some comments or share like uh, my post uh, would be helpful hey, once again thank you very much